Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we're looking at Digging My Potato from the Cowboy Bebop soundtrack. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed today's lesson, please click like, share this video and subscribe to my channel for free harmonica lessons every single week. So, digging my potato, I had lots of requests for this, but this one is specially for Matt LaRiviere, who supported my crowdfunding campaign and requested as his order this lesson uh, as a YouTube lesson. So, I'm going to give you uh, the first section of this song. I've actually tabbed out the whole song. It's more than four minutes long. I'll put a link to the song, to a YouTube clip of the song uh, at the start of this video, but if you'd like the full song tabbed out, there's a, there's a lot of work in it and I just couldn't squeeze it into this YouTube lesson. I am selling the full lesson, so you can check out the full lesson by following the link in the video description beneath this video. But for today's YouTube lesson, we are going to look at the first section of the song and there's still plenty of uh, stuff for us to get through. It's a great harmonica instrumental, this, and uh, lots of interesting features for us to get our teeth into. For today's lesson, I'm using an E-flat harmonica. That's the key he used in the original version of the song, so if you want to play in the same key as me, you'll need your E-flat. You can, of course, follow the tab with any key harmonica. You'll just be playing it in a different key from me. We're going to cover up to about 1 minute 30 in this lesson today. That's a lot of harmonica to get through because it's just a harmonica instrumental. There's a little bit of percussion at certain points in the tune, but it's all harmonica, and there's a quite a lot to get through so let's crack on straight away with the tab and go through it line by line so you can see the tab on the screen I've split this song into sections because there's no uh, musical accompaniment there's just harmonica and a little bit of percussion it's hard to think about splitting it up into sections so what I've done is if I've just kind of picked parts they're kind of roughly 30 second sections. So uh, we'll just see how we get on with each section as we go. So we'll start with part one, and the first line goes something like this. Okay, so we have got three blow twice, and then we have four draw bend that releases. I'd call that a scoop. So we start with a bend and release it, and he does that twice, and then plays a four and five draw warble, and then bends the four draw, that scoop again, up to kind of a four draw, and there's probably a bit of a five draw in there as well. I call it where a, a note creeps in, a five draw creeping in. So you start to hear that five as well, and then four draw bend, Three draw, two draw, finishing on the two draw. Okay, <laughs> look at my hair. <laughs> um, so, one line, but a lot going on already. So, uh, uh, you know, we've got bends, we've got those scoops releasing those bends, we've got a warble, uh, and we've got a bend and a kind of run down, a slide down the instrument. I've started on the three blows because I think quite a lot of what he's doing in this tune is using the three blow. Now you'll hear me, you'll hear other harmonica players talk all about using the two draw. And the two draw has a lot of advantages over the three blow. They're the same note, the same tone, but the three draw, three blow, sorry, will not allow you to get a lovely metrono, uh, metrono, vibrato. It won't allow you to get bends in and out of the note. It just is what it is. But you're not going to get... Or... Or... Or kind of chordal sound. So it, the three blow is a little bit limited. It just happens to be the case, for whatever reason, the, the guy who was playing this on the soundtrack did quite a lot of three blows. I can just tell by this slightly different tone and the, the, the air pressure and little things like that that he's using quite a lot of three blows. So I've tried to stay as true to the original as possible. One advantage of the three blow for you is. If you aren't used to balancing your airflow, using the blow might help you if you've done a lot of draws to just kind of balance the air a little bit. So it might help you in that sense. So that's our first line. Part one. 
pretty good opening to a harmonica instrumental. So that's our first line. Let's have a look at the second line for uh, part one. So the second line of uh, part one goes... Okay, so again, really nice and atmospheric. Probably starting on a three below again, you can interchange your your two and your your two draws and your three blows as you wish. But this one I think is is a three blow because there's a little bit of a two blow creeping in next to it. It's just a little bit messy. So three blow twice, and then that same kind of scoop up on the four draw, and then six blow, five draw, four draw, and then four draw kind of scoop up from the bend again, and then four draw bend, four blow, three draw semitone bend, and then two draw, two draw full step bend, and then a one draw, I've kind of put that it bends down, you could even just hit the bend straight off, I think it's maybe comes flat from the start. I don't know if he goes like a full kind of bend down. I think it's maybe just just kind of hit it on a bend. Bit of a weird um, note choice. So unusual, I suppose. People don't often just hit that one draw bend uh, straight off the bat like that. So that's our second line. Okay, really, really cool first couple of lines. We've got a couple more lines in this first part, and then we're going to look at part two, which will take us up to sort of just after a minute, and then part three will take us up to around a minute and a half. So let's get on with the next line. So the third line. Yeah, really, really, really big sound. So he starts with a one draw bend, the same note we finished the previous line with actually, but he really digs into that, digging my potatoes, digging my notes. Releases it up to a one draw, and then... Two draw, he bends that two draw. I've put the full step bend but this isn't really an exact science. I mean, it, it may be somewhere between the first and second bend. It's, it's maybe, you know, not a full, full on bend, but you're not hitting it so, as a melodic note as such. You're just going down, because you're then going to come back up. And then he does go kind of right down to the second bend. And I've just put in brackets a little one draw. Because you could, it's almost inaudible, but it is there. I've had a proper listen to this thing, I've done my homework, and it's very, very quiet at the end, so. It's almost just like a little roll, roll off, but that's up to you whether you, you want to put that in. That's not a, you know, a necessary part of the tune. You can put that in if you fancy. So let's do the last line of part one, and then we'll get on to the second part of the tune. So the last line of this part goes... Again, really tasty line. So three, three and a four draw, sort of double step, double stop. So with a bit of a bend. I was doing some vibrato on that. You could just bend it, or you could just play them unbent if you've not got that ability yet. But obviously, there's quite a lot of bends in this song anyway. So I'm assuming you're kind of working on those. So three, four draw with a little bit of a bend. Four blow. Back to a three draw semitone bend, four draw semitone bend, and then four blow, three draw semitone bend, four blow, three draw semitone bend again, and then just a two draw down to the second bend on two, and then up to the two draw again. And that's actually the end of what I'm calling part one of the song. We're going to get on to the next section. It's still just uh, instrumental harmonica. As I said, I was just putting these into sections so that they're kind of bite-sized chunks. So let's get on to part two, which is about 30 seconds into the tune. So part two starts like this. So it starts with a big four-five draw, 
double note and then goes down to a, just a four draw, bends that, and then three draw, two draw, and then a two blow, two draw. This is where we start to get a little bit of percussion. Um, it picks up in pace. Part one was really nice and slow. Here it starts to have a feel of uh, rhythm to it. Ba -ba -ba -da -bum -ba -dum. So let's get on with the second line and then there's a big drum fill after that line. Second line. Okay, so we've got two draw second bend twice. Ba -ba, and then two draw unbent. Da -da. And then a two draw again. Four blow, three blow, four blow. So. And then three draw semitone bend and two draw twice. Put that all together. Okay. And then at the end of that line, there's a big drum fill. And uh, it's a nice little build up to, uh, again, as I say, the kind of more rhythmic, faster section of the song. Uh, we've got a few more lines to get through in this section, so we're going to skip past that drum fill and get onto the next line. So this end of part two is really where I think this song hits its stride. There's a little bit of a motif, a kind of repeated melody which he starts to introduce at this point, really catchy. So uh, hopefully you enjoy this bit. It goes something like this. Okay, so the first bit there, we've got one draw bend, he likes that one draw bend, releases, and then goes to the two draw. And then, I've got a weird little one, and then an arrow, and then a four. That means I'm sliding from around hole one blow, and landing on hole four, so that if I really slowed it down, you hear one, two, three, four. But at speed, you just get that kind of sound. So it's more important to land on the four than to start on the one. If you started on the two, it's not the end of the world, but you'd need to hit that four. You don't want to hit three or five. And then just a three draw semitone bend. So. And that's one of the little uh, phrases that you're going to hear. It's it's sort of repeated uh, in these next few lines with, with a different start. So we've got... So you hear that end bit again. But the section before it... We've got a five draw, and then a four draw that bends down, and then a three draw, two draw. And then, ba bum. And then the next line is quite similar, but it starts with a bend on four, releases, and then goes back to that bend. And then three draw, two draw again, and then that again, so that you get. The only possible difference is between the four blow, the the kind of slide up to the four blow and then the three draw semitone bend on this line. He maybe puts in a little three blow. I keep on saying he, by the way. I don't know who the, the person who played this on the soundtrack was. I don't know if it was a man or if it was a woman. I'm sorry if it's a woman. Um, so on this line, you might want to put... Do you hear that? Just a little three blow between the uh, four blow and then the three draw semitone bend. It, again, it's kind of a grace note. I've put it in there as in brackets. And then the last line of this section is just that same thing. I don't think he does the three blow on this time, so. Okay. 
So we've we've started to introduce that as as a lick. We're going to have some more of that kind of feel of stuff now we've picked up the pace a little bit and we've got some percussion behind us if you can imagine it imagine if someone's playing the drums behind me as we go into part three now part three starts with a nice big warble you want to bend into that warble if possible so start on the four draw with a bit of a bend and then release that bend, and as you release that bend, go to a warble. So alternate between four and five draw. Check out my lessons on warbles if you're not familiar with them. I'm moving my head, by the way. A lot of people would tell you not to move your head. It's probably good advice. Maybe it's a bad habit I've got. Maybe I'll get brain damage. Maybe you're better. Moving the harmonica. But there's that big four, five draw warble, and then we've got quite a long line with quite a lot to get through. So the second line of this section. Okay. So, loads of notes there. We've got a four draw bend up to a four draw, and then six blow, five draw, four draw. So. Do a da de da and then four draw bend, four draw, four draw bend, three draw, three blow twice. So if we put those two together. And then So we've got a three draw three and a four draw, sorry, with that kind of bend added to them, so that dirty gink, dink, and and then go to the three blow, back to that dirty bend, to the three blow again, to the dirty bend, and then to the four blow, so. Okay. And then I kind of had to split this line up somewhere because there was so much going on but the next bit kind of runs straight on from that section so we have so four blow three draw semitone bend three blow and then two draw twice two draw second bend and one draw you'll hear a lot of those Two draw down to the bend to the one draw. Really common kind of blues lick, and he's using that repetition as something to kind of stick in your head. It's one of the key aspects of harmonica playing, making music in general, repetition with variation. So don't play something so much that it gets boring, but put something in enough that it kind of just eats its way into people's minds and they kind of, when they hear it again, it feels familiar and homey. So our last couple of little lines of part three and the first one goes like this. Okay, so again, we've got that, that little rundown I was just talking about. So we've got one draw bend that slowly releases Lovely sound, that movement on that one draw bend that releases. And then uh, one draw bend again. Up to a one draw. And then two draw, two draw bend, one draw. That little da 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 bit I talked about. And then two draw bend, full step bend. Uh, up to two draw and then three draw semitone bend twice. And then we've just got a few notes left before we get to end of section three. And it's as simple as just four blow twice, three draw semitone bend, and then two draw twice to finish. So that reaches a minute and a half into the song. As I say, there's a lot more to get through. The full song is around four minutes long. This is all I can fit into the YouTube lesson today, but I am selling the full lesson. So follow the link beneath the video if you'd like to learn more, if you've enjoyed today's lesson and you'd like to finish this song because there's a lot more to get into. It gets really, really funky as we get towards the end. If you have enjoyed today's lesson, please click like, share this video and subscribe for free harmonica lessons every single week.
Thank you to Matt for asking for this song. It's been a great song study. I've enjoyed looking at it. I hope you've enjoyed learning it with me. I do take requests, so please put your comments beneath the video. You can also send me any questions, harmonica-related stuff. You can email contact at learntheharmonica.com. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram as well. Just search for learntheharmonica.com on those platforms. I'll be back very soon with another lesson. Until then, enjoy your practice. I'll see you soon. Cheers.